uh, I'm concerned that the president has cut funding for CDs for the Centers for Disease Control. It's the best public health safety net in the world, and it's weaker now than it was when the president took office. And I'm concerned that what's coming out of the White House and the political people is different from what is coming from our public health professionals that, that you know, professionals that knew how to rid the world of smallpox and knew how to get, how to eradicate uh, polio in the United States and elsewhere and who, who know, knew how to deal with Ebola. I mean, th those are the people to listen to, not a bunch of political people that might or might not have a political agenda and surely don't have the expertise. Yeah, this is a serious issue that if you don't spend some money up front, uh, it can get even bigger. So I support the supplemental spending request and we got to figure out what the needs are more precisely, uh, but w whatever they are, I think we ought to be providing for it. We've talked to the Ohio Department of Health this week as an example, and they think we're in pretty good shape in Ohio. In other words, our hospitals are ready. Uh, you know, we've got a pretty good emergency plan in place, but we are concerned about having test kits, and those test kits are expensive, so you can test somebody right away and you know whether they have the virus. Uh, we also need uh, some more supplies, you know, things like gloves and masks, and so I do think that there's a federal role there. And then finally, of course, for the federal government, the antiviral vaccine that is needed here, uh, that needs to be done at rapid speed. So as quickly as you can get something like that approved and on the market, that's, that's gonna take some focus and money from the federal government level. So I do think we ought to put more funding against it. I'm glad, John, that early on, the United States took a decision that other countries did not to say, if you're coming from China, unless you're a citizen or permanent resident, uh, you cannot enter the United States. And we said that because, you know, we were concerned about the virus coming over. Other countries like Italy and South Korea uh, uh, wish they had done that, I would imagine, because you can see what's happened in their country. So I think we took some good early steps, but now we got to focus on the fact that it's going to be impossible to stop it altogether. In fact, we have a, uh, an infection in California I just heard about that was apparently not from somebody who was overseas. So that's gonna, it's going to happen, in my view. And we got to be sure we minimize it. Uh, we are able to contain it. And that's going to take uh, this additional federal funding. In, in addition to a lot of work at the local level and at, at the state level, and a lot of healthcare professionals are, are going to be on the front lines.